what's going on you guys it's your boy the FWOTI to the biggie here once again and this is my predictions video for tonight's NXT TakeOver The End live from Full Sails University in Florida so let's just not waste our time let's get straight into it straight away I want to start off with into it and start off with Ty Gillinger obviously taking on a rather Almas, I think his name is, is that how you pronounce it? Don't crucify me guys, I forgot that wrong. Um obviously Ty Lillinger is just in this to just job for the new guy making his debut. Um from what I know about him, he's quite a high flyer from Mexico. I don't know too much about him if I'm honest with you guys. Um but yeah, Ty Lillinger's just there to do his business, which is just job. Um, get his perfect 10 and the crowd going uh, and to be honest I don't mind Ty Dillinger man he's, he's he's a decent wrestler but he is just a high class jobber that's all he is um, to be honest so look for Ty Dillinger to do the job as per normal in this one and for the new guy to get his debut and uh, winning debut so yeah let's move on next I want to talk about the Revival versus the American Alphas now this tag team title match will be an absolute classic like it was at the last takeover. Um, the revival remind me of a new version of the Brain Busters, which was Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson. Um, I really like the revival, but I do love the American Alphas, the modern day version of the world's greatest tag team, Charlie Horse and Shelton Benjamin, in my opinion. That's who they are. They're a mixture between them and the Steiner brothers at an early stage. Um, and it's not just because they get up retired. That's what they remind me of. Um, Chad Gable and Jason Jordan are absolutely off the chain. Um, if you guys have never seen American Alphas before and watched TakeOver for the first time tonight, you're in for a treat. Um, I do believe the American Alphas will not be down on NXT for much longer. I can see them moving up pretty fast. This match will be an absolute burn burner. But I do predict that the American Alphas will walk away still your NXT Tag Team Champions. So, yeah, I'm looking for this one to be an absolute classic. But the American Alpha picking up the win. Um, so, next we've got Asuka versus Nia Jax. Now, this one I expect to be... It's a weird one, this one. I expect it to be a lot like the Bailey versus Nia Jax one at NXT TakeOver in London. Um, but obviously, Asuka is the ass kicker that she is. Um, you know, she is the most dominant force in the female division on NXT. And to be honest, I think she's got a bright future when she comes up to the main roster as well. Um, I'm predicting Asuka gets the win and retains the title because I feel that TakeOver Brooklyn will probably be a rematch between Bailey and Asuka. Um, back at the the spot where Bailey had an infamous match with Sasha Banks last year that really brought both of them to the forefront. Um, you know, they their classic last year will probably go down as one of the best matches last year, if not one of the best female matches of all time. Um, but I do expect Asuka to be the ass kicker that she is. I didn't like the way this one was booked last week, um, where Nia Jax just powerbombed her once and put her later out on her back. back Nia, Nia Jax... Um, you know, obviously she's this big brute cousin of the rock and all that business, but Asuka's been so dominant, um, and she's a bit quirky and weird and, and wacky. I did expect at least two or three uh, to keep her down, but no, one kept her down. So I didn't it didn't like that booking last week. Um, so Asuka for the win, though. That is my prediction on this one. Um, this one should be a great match, to be honest. Um, no, Jax can go. For a big girl, she can go. So let's just see what happens. And this one, I feel, is going to be the match of the night. And it's A-double Austin Aries versus Sinjay Nakamura. Um, obviously, you guys, if you watch my videos in the past, talking about New Era, you will know how much of a big fan of Sinjay Nakamura I am. Um, I expect the King of Strong Style to go out there and do his business. But I do, do tell you guys now... This has got another Sami Zayn, Sinjay Nakamura classic run written all over it. If not, it could even potentially be better. A-double, we know from his matches in the past, A-double can have great matches. So, Austin Aries versus Sinjay Nakamura, I believe this will be the match of the night. Um, without any shadow of the doubt on that one. 
So, yeah, Sinjay Nakamura coming out with the win, the King of Strong style, keeping the ball rolling before he's moved up to the main roster. Um, and last but not least, Samoa Joe versus Finn Balor, the end. The last time you will see this before I believe Finn will be going up to the main roster very, very soon to join the club. Um, I feel that Joe will win this cage match. Um, I feel as much as I love my man Finn Balor, um, you know, I think this is a given for Joe. I think Finn's got bigger things on his mind. Well, I feel WWE's got bigger things planned for Finn. I do believe Finn will be going up to the main roster quite shortly after this and after the tour, obviously, because they fly out to the UK on tomorrow. Oh, it is tomorrow, Thursday. They fly out tomorrow straight after NXT TakeOver because they've got their first show on the 9th. Um, so, or is it the 10th? 9th or 10th, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking for Sinjay um, to get a great win over Austin Erez. Samoa Joe to win over Finn Balor, unfortunately. Yeah, that is how it's going to go. Finn Balor is not going to retain. Finn Balor will lose this match. I'm predicting this to be a good match. Unfortunately for Samoa Joe and Finn, Finn Balor, I feel this is going to be another one like NXT TakeOver just before Mania, which is NXT TakeOver Dallas, where um, Nakamura and Sami Zayn outshone him. Um, and I feel this is going to be the same again this time around. I feel that Austin Aries and... Nakamura will outshine the main event, unfortunately, but I still protect a good match. This is the problem I have with Finn Balor. As much as I love Finn Balor, he always seems to get outshined by some someone along the way on on on, on the same show. So, but I do hope that this one isn't like the last one where it's like hampered because of an accidental cut and then the, the trainers getting involved. Um, I do expect to knock down drag out. I do expect the demon to make an appearance. Um, really booking this one I think they should have booked this one a bit better I think they should have booked it that Finn cannot t use the demon because Finn's always beaten Joe when he's been the demon so I think that would have brought a new dynamic to the storyline if there was a like a stipulation where Finn couldn't use the demon So, but I do feel the demon will show up tonight um, and maybe this will be the first time Samoa Joe does get a win over the demon so yeah guys that is my prediction for NXT TakeOver the end that's on later on tonight on the on the WWE Network um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoy the show I'm sure I'm going to enjoy the show and I might do a reactions video afterwards um, about it maybe tomorrow night I'm really not sure yet but I really hope you guys enjoy the show and I hope you like my predictions. This was your boy, the FWOTI to the E. Once again, remember to like, share, subscribe, peace, all that good business and take care. Bless, guys.